Welcome back to Comson. Okay, so it's still February and we've got to start to prepare the ground for planting. So we've already got some slurry out on the two grass fields that we've got. So they're in perfectly good shape. But now it's the turn of the three arable fields that we've got. So that's field two, field three and field six. Now, spreading slurry won't quite cut it on fields of that size, they're just too large. So, we've got the sprayer out here, and we're using the new Deutz, which is probably way too much power for this job, but you know what? It's the luxury we have. Now, I had... So yeah, sorry, we're, we're, we're heading to the store to grab some liquid fertilizer. Now, I had initially planned to bring a trailer down to the store to stock up with maybe six tanks of fertilizer, liquid fertilizer. But I did some mental math on this and I think we can cover all the ground we need to, all three fields, with a single load, which is why I'm heading directly down here with the, uh, with the sprayer. So I think each tank is... 2,000 litres and the sprayer will hold just over 4,000. So I think if we get loaded up, assuming my math is correct, I think we'll be able to get all three fields done in one go. Just save us having to uh, cart too many of them around. Now 3,200. True to real life. Not exactly cheap right now. So all good. Okay, so let's pull up the side here and we'll start filling. Let's just bring up the hood. Now you'll notice the blue lines along the bottom of the of the menu. So this is a variable width sprayer. So you can decide how many sections of the, spray of the sprayer are actually switched on at any one time. It's pretty cool. So once we get down to the field, I'll probably what we give a quick round of the field, then we'll time lapse, and I'm sure at the end of the field there will be some kind of an awkward strip, some narrow strip that we'll be able to uh, demonstrate the variable width. So well, let's get down there. Okay, we're here, starting on this field, I think this is field 6, right beside the, the cow farm. Just gonna get unloaded here or un unfolded. So the boom on this is really quite wide. So I don't expect that this is one of those jobs that'll be going on forever. I think we'll get this nice and quick. Get it done nice and quick. So we'll lower down. Switch off the HUD. Just find it's cleaner watching for everybody. And away we go. Now, fertilizing. Sequencing here is all important. Um, so, in order to achieve the full yield bonus, you can fertilize twice and combined it comes to something like 40% yield bonus which is a big, big chunk of all the jobs you're going to do. It's well worth doing this. Now, a little bit over generous with the overhang there. Now, as I say, sequencing is all, all important though, because you can't just run around twice and fertilize every square inch twice uh, at the same time. You've got to do it once before you plant. It's almost like preparing the ground in effect. Then once you've got the planting completed, you can do a second application after the first growth phase. That will give you your full yield bonus. So sequencing here is all important. As I say, of all the jobs you can do, the fertilizing is probably one of the easiest for a pretty big bump in yield. Now, once we've, um, once we've got the ground ready we'll be getting into planting pretty quickly and I still haven't decided what we're actually going to plant by the way still haven't decided so we 
we missed the October planting window for wheat and barley. I think it's around October. And we just had too much going on at the time. So that equally makes the springtime far more interesting now <laughs> and busier. The question is, what are we going to plant now? At this time of year, I think if we're planting now, the the obvious option is oats. They pay reasonably well. I can plant them now, and you know I think they peak in value somewhere around January, something like that. But I'm also toying with the idea of maybe planting some soybeans. And we'll get into this in a bit more detail in the next episode, but soybeans pay out really, really well. Now is the time of year to plant them. But you got to harvest in October, and I believe looking at the chart, price projection chart, soybeans don't actually peak until something like January. Now that's a long wait from October until January. A long time to have your money tied up. So if I do go that route, I think I think it'll be the smallest of the three fields that we'll plant with soybeans. As I say, we'll go through we'll go through that in a bit more detail in the next couple of episodes have a look at the uh, price projection chart and so on but first all three fields got to be fertilized so what we'll do is I think we'll we'll just we'll time lapse this Okay, true to our promise, we've got a narrow strip and I'm just narrowing down the width of the sprayer to find the controls depending on whether you're on keyboard or controller. So you can see the width is far narrower, so we're not going to waste, not going to waste any fertilizer. As I said before, God knows that it's so expensive right now, it's worth not wasting it. Not sure if this width will see us the whole way down because it is an unusual shape strip. Now you know what I think will be okay-ish. Yes, I think it's gonna work out perfect. 
almost as though I planned it, which I absolutely did not. <laughs> so that didn't take very long. First field, which is great. Once we've got this strip done, I don't think there are many kind of scraggly bits left anywhere, so I think we can probably get folded up at this point. We'll reset the width, just in case I make a mistake in the next field. Well, it was good practice. And we'll get on to the next field, so you can see the next field away to our right. We'll get the next field done beside, uh, beside the main yard. So I'm really pleased with this. I'm lo loving this tractor as well, by the way. It's our first day out. So I am loving it. I don't think I've ever purchased a Deutz before, which is unusual. But I'm loving it. Wait a second, you know what? Let's jump out here and just check to make sure. Yeah, we've got our fertilized percentage appearing there. So let's get up to the other field. Okay, we're here. Back in the yard. You can see the uh, trigger just appeared there for the silos inside the gate. One of those holds fertilizer. I can't imagine can't imagine a world where I have so much money tied up in fertilizer that I'll have that full up. I'm really not sure. In any case, who knows? Time will tell. So what we'll do is, well, let's get lower down here, get switched on, and we'll probably time lapse this field again, and we'll catch up towards the end for a chat before we enter the next field. Okay, all done, all done. And I only got into trouble with one telephone pole, which is good by my standards. It occurred to me while I was driving around there, by the way, there is so much to do. Oh my word, there's so much to do. Once we get fertilizing done, we will be straight into planting. We'll have some rolling to do. We'll have another application of fertilizer we'll probably be out uh, spraying weeds and at some point in all of that we're going to wind up having to do some grass work as well and this is all just in springtime so it's going to be really really busy so let's just get straightened up here it's the third of our three fields i think we have enough fertilizer to go so 
let's time lapse this as well and we'll catch up at the end for a chat. Okay, nearly there, nearly there. I so really pleased with how this worked out. I'm gonna just make the sprayer narrower as we go up along this strip. It's a great opportunity to demonstrate the variable width. There we go, all the way up. And we'll just take up, take out one narrow strip up here before we finish up. the narrowest setting and get this one last bit and then I think we'll be good to fold up yep we're good to go so next couple of episodes I think we'll leave it here with this for this episode next couple of episodes are going to be interesting I think we'll be getting into planting unless of course some grass comes up for harvest now if there's some grass ready for harvest we'll jump on it we'll absolutely plant on it because if we get grass harvested early then we'll get two opportunities probably in the season to harvest it so i think it's whichever comes first i think it'll be the planting but thanks for watching keep an eye out for the next one